Hi guys, so today we are doing an education post. We're gonna get her the perfect base to last all day for brides, for events, for whatever you need to do. So for a makeup artist, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the perfect base or the perfect foundation. It's all about the questions that you would ask your client. So what would you say your skin is like? I'd say my skin is dry, but I would say dehydrated dry. So not many clients will know dehydrated. So dehydrated is when you over produce oil because your skin is thirsty. So you need to give it more hydration. So we're gonna hydrate her skin, give her lots of skincare and prep it so it looks like a baby. We're first gonna start off by cleaning the skin. In our kit we just use micellar water, anything, a foaming cleanser, Mariella skin has the best foaming cleanse that we're kind of using today, Mariella's Skin Foaming. So I'm just gonna foam it all up, bitch. So to achieve this super glowy, just plumpy skin, we first obviously use Mariella Foaming Cleanser, got everything off that's on her skin. Even if she says she doesn't have anything on her skin, she might have tanning drops, moisturizer that doesn't blend with your foundation that you use in your kit, blah, 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 list goes on. We cleaned the skin, got the um, vitamin CE Super Glow Serum from Sephora. This one, one drop, easy done, all over the face. And we actually add in Mariella's ACE Serum as well to give a lot more glow. This one's a little bit thicker, so adding these two on top of each other really just blend together nicely. The smell's amazing and it, the glow lasts all day. We don't want the glow to just be there and then go away once you put foundation on top. Then for moisturizer, also sorry for all the clear stuff, but makeup artist kit stuff. Um, this one is the Mariella Purifying Cream Moisturizer, <laughs> got there. And again, just a small amount all over the skin. So now getting on to the makeup prep, more of the things that are actually makeup related. This one I feel works for everybody, absolutely everybody. If you're an extremely oily girl, I would put on like an oil-free, minimizing, pore minimizing, mattifying primer. But if you want that dewy, glowy feel to the skin, this is perfect, even to mix in with your foundation to make it more dewy, sheer it out a little bit, and it just blends into the skin so much better when this is underneath. It just makes it melt, essentially. For the next step, obviously we're going in with the foundation, but we are trialing out these new foundations that we found at Mecca that we wanted to include into our kit, but we wanted to kind of narrow it down because yeah. we have so many different foundations that we like to use that honestly it kind of gets a little bit overwhelming, but we do stick to three, I would say, I, would, I stick to three brands in particular, and this one might be a replacement for one of the brands, so we'll see. So I'm just going to bring it up closer to her cheek and see how well it would blend on the rest of your skin. If you just do it by the neck, you're only really getting the neck, you're not getting the full spectrum. You wanna take into consideration her chest, her shoulders, her neck, her entire body, especially if they're a bride, they're gonna have their chest out most of the time, depending on their dress, obviously neckline. But <laughs> I think that was pretty mm -hmm. That's spot pretty on much. if you don't say so mass. So I'm using the same brush as well that I used to apply the um, primer and I'm going to start in the middle. I like to start from the middle when I want it to be quite a sheer, dewy, like skin-like finish. So basically what we've done for Jasmine now, we've done the NARS Radiance Foundation and the Sheer Glow mixed together. The Mont Blanc is the sheer glow, the lightest. Start doing your darker base first, pump, pump. Then do your lightest shade, mix it together to get the consistency. Obviously I was trialing different colors quite often every time I'd add in another mixture. And then we've got the brush that still has the primer on there. So that's gonna help blend everything together. And I'm just gonna go on with a damp beauty blender after just to make sure everything's nice and smoothed out before I go on to doing anything else especially setting because if you set it 
with the line marks, then you're gonna set it like that. That we also like the NARS pop concealer that it's like an OG for obviously spot concealing under the eyes, doing a bit more coverage. For this particular look, it's gonna go under the eyes and I'm gonna create a little bit more coverage in areas that I want a bit more coverage. Okay, next step, blush. So right now we're really into our peachy but bronze vibe. Um, so a little bit of the pink hope and then we've got Joy, which is more of that orangey, coral shade. So, as you can see, there's more color on this side. You can definitely go brighter. If you love blush, go for it. I love blush, I would be more on this side. Whereas Jasmine, obviously, for this kind of look, a little bit softer, more versatile for your clients. Um, everybody will kind of love this. You can start with this and then keep adding product to get more of this kind of vibe. I'm gonna take my beauty blender as well and just kind of blend all under here. So this is where the can your extra concealer is gonna come in. You can add more concealer if you want, but personally I'm just gonna use the product that's already on the sponge from the foundation and also helping the concealer blend into the skin a little bit more as well. See how that's just a little bit more smooth. Okay, so powder products. What I normally do, what we do, is set the whole face with a setting powder. This one's really good from Napoleon, the camera finish powder. Really good for touch-ups, photography, does have a bit of pigment to it. And then we also do a mixture of the Givenchy, obviously everybody knows what powder this is, but what color is it? Number three. Just gonna take a setting spray. So the first spray that we used, I actually used the MAC Fix Plus. And now I'm gonna use an actual setting spray because we wanna set everything the way it is now. But I'm not gonna do as much as the first time. Because the first time is mainly just for hydration and this is setting the powder. Cheek time, my, this is probably my favorite mm -hmm. point, so. like ever. So we're using the Fenty um, Sun Talker in Alan Thing. And then we've got a skin finish by MAC which is in double gleam and this is the extra dimension skin finish then we got the one size um the blush trio in what's it called attention seeker which i'm going to use absolutely all of them this is if you want to bring it to that next step like you can see the kind of nice glow bronziness to the skin this is going to bring the blush the pink the, the, oh just everything yes okay so now we have achieved the perfect base for any occasion. Bridal, holidays, your birthday, I don't know, when I go on a hot date, this is your look. <laughs>